Hello everyone, my name is Tommy Butts, Extension Weed Scientist with the University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture. And joining me today is Lou Adams. Uh, he's a PhD student studying, studying under Dr. Tom Barber. Say hi, Lou. Hey guys. <laughs> All right, so the reason we're here today in this video is we've had several reports come in of some spray tank mix issues uh, involving Ingenia and Centris and a few other tank mix herbicides. And so we wanted to try and test a few different tank mixes and different tank mixing orders and things like that and see if we could figure out just where the problem was occurring. Uh, these problems that have occurred have actually resulted in um, some spray tank lids being uh, kind of blown off the top of their sprayers. It's also involved enough foam and other things where the chemical actually bubbled out of the tank, spilling over top of the tank onto other sprayer parts, all those kinds of things. And so we really wanted to try and figure out just where the problem was occurring in this tank mix process. Um, so today behind me down here, you'll notice we have several uh, jugs and three liter bottles out and we're going to try and test several different combinations of, uh, of Ingenia and Centris and Roundup Power Max to try and figure this out. So one mix that we're gonna end up uh, testing is uh, Ingenia and Centris by itself. Another one will be Ingenia and Roundup Power Max by itself. Uh, and then we'll do Ingenia Roundup and Centris. And then the final one is we'll do a test of Ingenia Roundup and Vapor Grip Extra, one of the other volatility reducing agents available on the market today. So we'll jump in and start mixing here and uh, we'll discuss a little bit what's happening with uh, some of the reactions going on while, while it's occurring. So now after that, we, uh, you can see we got mixed up here. Um, a couple things to take note of. Uh, one, we, we know we only have a little bit amount of liquid in here. What we were doing was basically trying to simulate like if an inductor tank was being used on one of our sprayers. Um, but I will tell you, we did some preliminary testing before this and we tested full bottles, uh, you know, basically three quarters of the way full. And we got the same results that I'm gonna show you here. So it didn't matter if we, you know, were testing like a little induction tank or we were at basically a full three liter bottle, we got the same result here. Um, the first thing, uh, oh, I also should mention, uh, so like I said, we're mixing three liter bottle sizes. All the amounts of chemical that we put in the tank were predetermined that should be field use label rates. So it was uh, you know, a 12.8 fluid ounce per acre rate of Ingenia. Um, we were using the eight fluid ounce per acre rate of Centris, um, a quart per acre rate of Roundup. So again, we were using those field label rates. That's what was going into these bottles. So it's all a uh, real world scenario here. Uh, now, the first bottle that you can see here, this was um, Roundup and Centris by itself, uh, or excuse me, Ingenia and Centris by itself. Uh, and you can see here, we shook it up. Uh, I can still squeeze the bottle, nothing major going on there whatsoever. Uh, when we open it, no pressure, you know, nothing going on. That seems to be good mix, no problems there. When we get to the next two, uh, this second one was uh, Ingenia, Roundup and Centris. And this one was just Ingenia and Roundup. And you can notice quite a bit of foaming. Well, we typically expect that with Roundup Power Max. You know, Roundup just foams quite a bit. We'd expect that. If we look at just the Ingenia and Roundup and we shake it up again, again, lots of foam, but really no pressure. The bottle, we can squeeze easy, nothing major. There's no, a little bit of a pressure release, but nothing too major. So again, a lot of foam, but, but nothing too crazy there. When we look at the Ingenia, Roundup and Centris, again, Shake it up for sure, got it on tight. We see lots and lots of foam and this bottle is tight. There is no give to it whatsoever. And if we actually open this up and set it down here, you see lots of pressure released. It allows that foam to come up and bubble out. Pretty big problem there, especially when we're just doing this in a little three liter bottle. It's cloudy today, so we don't really have a high temperature to help build pressure either. Uh, you can see that there's a problem with that, that three-way mix. And then finally, when we come over here, this again, so this was Ingenia, Roundup, and Centris. When we go to a different volatility reducing agent, so it's Ingenia, Roundup Power Max, and Vapor Grip Extra, again, shake it up. Good amount of foam because of the Roundup, but the bottle's squishy. 
no real pressure there. Again, slight pressure release, nothing compared to the Vapor Grip Extra, or I mean, excuse me, the, the Centris plus Roundup Power Max plus Ingenia. Now, just to highlight some other things that we tested today to kind of cover the bases, we also tested some different glyphosate formulations. We actually tested Cornerstone, uh, which is an isopropylamine salt versus Roundup Power Max, which is a K salt. We saw the same issue. Uh, happen that pressure buildup, that gas release. So it is a glyphosate issue when mixing with Centris that we've seen. Uh, again, I already mentioned that instead of just a small amount of water in the bottom, we did try to, to include a, almost a full bottle of water and uh, we still saw the same thing. The pressure built up, uh, it almost blew the cap off of our uh, top of our bottle actually. It was a, a, a lot of pressure there. Um, and then the final thing that we did test as well was we added a foam breaker into the bottle ahead of adding in all of these other chemicals. And what the foam breaker actually did is it stopped the solution from foaming. However, that gas still built up in there and we still had a really like, full bottle that was trying to blow the top off the bottle. So basically what this tells us in this mix with Roundup Power Max and Centris is that there is a chemical reaction occurring when those two get mixed in the tank together that's releasing some gas. Uh, and that gas causes this pressure to build up and can potentially blow off uh, the lid off of our spray tanks. Like I said, we've had several reports of this already. Um, so the, our number one recommendation would be that if you want to have Roundup Power Max in the tank with, uh, with our Dicamba systems, um, Centris is probably not the way to go as far as a volatility reducing agent. We probably need to go the Vapor Grip Extra route. Uh, I will like to highlight here in Arkansas, glyphosate is still illegal to tank mix with our dicambas even after, after the new rules passed by the state plant board. Um, so in the state of Arkansas, we should not have glyphosate in the tank anyway. Um, but uh, you know, elsewhere across the, the country, please be aware that when we're mixing Centris with, uh, with any kind of glyphosate, expect to have this gas release and potential buildup in our spray tanks. Also along with these results, we did test several other herbicide uh, tank mixtures. So we tried um, Tricor 4F, so Metribuzin. We also tried Liberty, since Liberty foams, you know, so bad as well as another herbicide. We tried that to see if that would do the same type of thing. And again, with any of these other herbicides that we mixed in there, um, they may foam pretty bad. You know, Liberty, again, is we typically expect to foam in the tank and it may, it, it did definitely foam up with the Ingenia and Centris, but it didn't build that gas pressure like the glyphosates have. Uh, that, that gas pressure has been strict, strictly uh, limited to any time we added a different glyphosate in the tank. One of the other things too that we tested previously to this demonstration was the tank mix order and testing if that had any uh, uh, play in this system. And what we noticed is it really didn't matter the tank mix order. It all just boiled back to when glyphosate got into that tank, it caused this pressure to build this gas to be released. Um, we, we, you know, across our tank mixes, the Tricor, the Liberty, uh, the Dual Magnum, we didn't see, you know, if those were in first versus if they were in after Centris, it didn't seem to cause a big deal. It didn't matter if Ingenia was in first or after Centris. Um, even the Roundup, if it was before or after, it did not matter. It was just the fact that once Roundup and Centris were in this same tank together, it caused this gas to be released and uh, uh, then led to this uh, high pressure potential for blowing the top off, off of our spray tanks. Now, I will say the one thing that we haven't tested was uh, mixing in Centris and allowing it to sit for an extended period of time, which again, a lot of individuals won't be able to do just because we're on a, a, a tight time crunch anyway of spraying. But that is one thing we did not test is allowing Centris to sit in our water for an extended period of time before we started adding in uh, more chemicals. Now, this is all real basic research. We really haven't been allowed to, uh, to test Centris on a wide scale. Uh, um, especially from a university perspective. So just from some you know, real basic tests here, this is our initial conclusions uh, uh, coming from these um, tank mix compatibility tests in these three liter bottles. So basically, once again, just to sum everything up, uh, you know, a lot of the tank mixes that we tested, a lot of the tank mix order didn't necessarily matter for this, uh, this problem. It really all came down to when we were trying to mix Centris and a glyphosate in the spray tank together. Uh, and then we had this extreme uh, pressure buildup from a gas being released. And again, we've had reports where it's been a strong enough pressure to blow the tops off of our spray tanks. So please be aware of that. If we're going to mix glyphosate into the tank, uh, we definitely recommend probably going the Vapor Grip Extra route we didn't see that same gas release when we mixed that in the tank. So 
with that, uh, I just want to thank my co-partner here, Lou, for uh, helping Tank Mix and uh, Dr. Tom Barber as well for being our videographer today. Uh, and thank you to Aaron Ross as a program associate for helping as well to uh, do some of these tests today that took us a few hours to do. Um, with that, if you have any more questions or you want more information, please make sure to reach out or visit our website at www.uaex.uada.edu. Thank you. Have a great day.